Hey guys. So I shot footage earlier today and accidentally deleted it. I'm having technological issues lately. <laughs> anyway, um, I thought I would do a quick painting, not a quick, but a painting in between clients today. So I've got some resin here I'm about to mix up. I'm gonna set you guys down so you can see what I'm working on. I've started a canvas with a teal blue background and I'll be doing a resin pour painting today. So um, I'll try to explain why as I'll go along, but you know, it is what it is. So <clears throat> this is our blue canvas right here. I've got set up and there's art resin. I'm mixing equal parts. I hope everyone is having a good Tuesday. I am. I got to do a really cool set of nails this morning uh, for Helena. Hi, Helena. <laughs> um, and that is the footage that I lost this morning also, which makes me sad, but um, they were uh, glitter tipped nails, um, five different colors of glitter and a flower painted on that with like a confetti in the middle of the flower. And um, I enjoyed doing them, they were nice, I liked it. Okay, I'm getting my resin completely stirred up here. So the colors I'm looking at using, obviously we have the base as this teal blue. I'm going to be using, what do you call it? Createx Airbrush Colors in Fluorescent Violet. So it's a bright purple. I'm going to be using pigment, pure pigment powder in blue opal. I'm going to be using Young Nails Glitter in uh, I can't remember the name of this glitter, but this is what it looks like. Okay. Can't remember the name of it. And I'm doing Duochrome Violet Brass Pigment from Perlex. And that looks like this. Now this is still wet from spray paint and I'm hoping to move some of that around and get an effect from that too. Start mixing my colors here. And I'm going to be doing quite a bit of negative space on this one too, if I can stand it. If I like the way it looks in the end, it's just hard for me to leave a, leave a painting alone. But we'll see how it comes out. I just haven't painted in a little while and I missed it, so I need to get back to it. Okay, so this is the fluorescent violet airbrush paint. I'm gonna get that mixed up. It's a little too transparent. I need that to be a bit more opaque. That's what that looks like. Okay, that is bright and really pretty. I'm gonna do the glitter 
Sakura Storm. That's the name of the bitter, Sakura Storm. It's from Young Nails Nail Art, Young Nails brand. What that looks like. Like a pinky purple glitter. We're going to do the blue opal pigment powder. So it flashes almost the same blue as this background, so that's going to look cool. And now our last pigment is the Duo Violet Brass. A lot of purple going on in here, purple and blue. So I'm going to pour this at a diagonal towards you. I'm going to try. I like to pour on a dia diagonal. I don't know why I guess it, I feel like it gives it more motion. Let's see if a bit of that. violet brass right down the middle of that that's pretty I do the Sakura storm glitter along the outside of those Our blue pearl on the outside of the bat.
Now I'm going to set that for a second. I'm going to go get my heat gun and I'll be back. It's about time to make some noise.
Mm. And just do it just like this. I'm going to take you guys down and show you what I'm doing right now. Hopefully you can see because I can't see the screen. But you see how it's moving very slowly. That's how I'm manip manipulating the paint in the resin, like letting it roll and then moving it a bit up and down. I've got it on this kind of like teeter-totter deal until I get how I want it to be. with it until I get it exactly how I want it. back Here, I'm creating a flat surface. I'll set this on so it'll no longer be on that like purposely wobbly deal. I pretty much have it here, right how I want it. A little bit. this out of the way. Perfect. I'll show you where it's at now. Hope you can see it. I'm going to add 
have some loose glitter because this is well, I think. I don't know. It's glitter. This is called Stardust White. And it's a sprinkle, it's got a sprinkle top. And I'm going over this whole thing very lightly, including the negative space. do a bit more work here. And I'm just using the same colors. I'm gonna let that set up. I may do more work to it later, but for now I'm really happy with it. The texture and being able to leave some negative space, something I've been working on. So yeah, I'm really happy with this right now. See you guys later. Oh, this is it. This is vlogmas. This is what my life is. You know. Weird. Weirdness at all times. That's me.
you need like one scene in all of my vlogmas videos like one scene that would pretty much describe my day-to-day -day life i think this might be the one yeah we'll go with this one like it's just bananas my life is bananas see you guys later oh my god <laughs> oh my god so i got this like Thing out of the end of this mannequin hand because I wanted to be able to like set it up straight like this you know to display and it's like full of oh, white powder y'all it's full of white powder what the heck what is that oh my god what is that I have no idea what this is you guys <laughs> like was somebody trying to smuggle something in this mannequin hand for real like look it's still coming out look there's it's like this is nuts this is crazy it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't smell like anything that I can tell it's just like a fine white powder. <laughs> Are you kidding me? And then the mofo won't even stand up. Like the whole point was for it to stand up because that part's flat. The whole point of taking that screw thingy out was so that it would stand up. Are you kidding me? And now it won't stand up. I'm so done. And so instead I had to like discover a giant like cocaine stash or something. Just kidding. I don't think it's cocaine. I don't know what it is. <laughs> but I'm going to get rid of it. <laughs> ah! Just waiting for my next client to get here. So I'm having a cup of tea. This is a really, really good one for wintertime. Um, ultra spice chai. It's yummy. So I've got my cup of tea. And I've got, my book is, I just started Invisible Cities by Italo Calvino. Um, I found it on a book club reading list on Pinterest. Um, so I'll let you guys know how it is because I'm just now getting into it. So yeah, if I can recommend it, I will. See you later. Okay. So this is the second set of Christmas nails I've done today. Miss Abigail. Under this light, they go so glittery. I love these. They're like Christmassy but girly. I like them. Is Vlogmas video, but I wanted to show you my little lacy ribbon wreath that my friend Bonnie made for me. Is that beautiful? It's got like snowflake lace. How pretty is that? She made that. I think it's so pretty. It's so girly. And she brought me a Christmas present. Look, how nice is this? She brought me this got pretty paper. She brought me the world's biggest Yankee candle. <laughs> it's so big. It's called Balsam and Clove. Dude, it smells so good. And it's the prettiest color of like dove gray. It's so pretty. So, Bonnie, if you're watching, thank you. I love it. She just brought it by this evening. It's so nice. And so I'm going to put it underneath the Gypsy Bliss tree. Just like that. It looks so pretty. And I've got my decoration. I love it. I am closed up shop. <clears throat> And headed home and headed to the gym, I do believe. Um, I hope everyone has a very good night, and I will see you tomorrow for what day six of Vlogmas? This is today day today's day five, so day six is tomorrow. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.